No, please don't take her bending away. No, 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 no. Hello guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. I'm Diego and this time we're gonna react to The Legend of Korra episode 10, which is Turning the Tides. We're nearing the end of season one. I have been loving this show so far. The last two episodes have been amazing. I'm just fascinated by the storytelling of the show so far. So the first point would be bloodbending. I was just shocked last episode by this whole bloodbending thing because it's just way too much power. We saw how Tarlock in episode eight is able to bloodbend without a full moon. The last episode, Yakone is able to bloodbend without a full moon. He is Tarlock's father. And Amon, the freaking guy, can fight bloodbending. Not even Aang could fight it. He could only fight it when he goes full on avatar mode. That's it. Amon is just, it's just a tickle for him. What the heck? And Tarlock was... I mean, this is very satisfying to say, to be honest, because I really enjoyed it when I watched it. Tarlock is not able to bend now, because Amon took his powers. And I was just all for it. Last episode, the villains really stole the show, and I loved it. So the second point would be the team's shaping, but with tension, a little bit of tension. I mean, this whole Asami and Mako and Korra thing, and I assume Bolin still has a part to play. It's still going on. Now Asami, through Bolin, just found out that Mako and Korra kissed back in the day. It just got strange feelings for me at the end of the episode where Mako and Korra, I mean, it was nice to see them like together, but with Asami in the picture, I just want everything to be okay. That's it, that's it. Just, I just want everything to be okay and Bolin to be happy as well. And in the shaping of this team, I really want to include Lin. I really want to see more of her. I want Lin to have this like comeback as a great leader. I'm wondering if there's going to be like a kind of like a breakup in the team. Uh, let's see. So grab a cup of tea. Let's watch it. She had a hard time last episode, Cora. Please help me. Ah, I, uh, it's just not a great sight. I know how it feels, Azami. I know how it feels. I thought she wasn't coming back. I'm sorry you were scared, but everything is going to be fine now. I promise. Good father figure. The food tastes amazing, Pema. <laughs> Taking out a councilman, almost capturing the Avatar. I fear Aman is entering his end game. Hmm. Uh, that's the title of the last episode. <laughs> Good thing right there, writers. Can I get some hot water? Cora needs more tea. You're a firebender. <laughs> Boil it yourself. <laughs> oh, you wrote... One of you guys wrote that in the comments. Please don't spoil lines of next episodes in the comments. That was an awesome line, I'm not gonna lie. I've noticed how you treat Cora. How you acted when she was missing. <clears throat> you have feelings for her, don't you? What? No. Please be honest. Please be honest, Mako. How did you expect me to act? I like Cora, but you've been keeping the truth from me this whole time. Yeah. About what? You're really gonna make me sick. Come on, Mako, you know. Yes, because I don't know what you're talking about. The kiss, Mako. I know. Ah. <sighs> Bolin told you, didn't he? Mako, I mean... Bro. Can we deal with our relationship problems later? Well, there might not be any relationship to worry about later. <sighs> Asami! <sighs> you just gotta be honest, bro. You can't keep things like that for yourself. You just can't. Spit it out already. Will you stay here and watch over Pema and the children while I meet with the council? Oh, he trusts everything her. everything that's happened lately, I want to be sure my family is in safe yep. hands. Cool. I didn't realize you two were out here. Pema! Uh, y oh. Yes. Oh, another love triangle. No. I mean the history. Different goals. This is not what I signed on for. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. Oogie, yip yip. <laughs> Don't wait up for me. This council session will probably go late into the night. The door, dear. Oh my God! What a, an unbearable man. <laughs> We're here to fix a spider rat problem. I didn't call an exterminator. And a spider, a sp. No. Dear. Oh my god, it's all over the place. They're all over the place. 
Oh my god, Tenzin, come on. <laughs> That's Spider-Man. That's a Spider-Man moment. <laughs> Guy just spinning right there and just kicking everyone. The other council members, are they all right? I'm afraid not. Oh god, it's every council member then. They've all been captured. Oh my god. The leadership of Republic City is in your hands now. Step up, bro. Oh my god. It is a tragic day indeed. <laughs> so dramatic. But my god, it's all it's, it's full on war. That was just like straight up Dark Knight Rises. I've dreamed of this day for so long. Yes. What a miserable being this guy. The time has come for the equalists to claim Republic City as their own. Oh my god, he's just like Bane. For you, the people. There it is. Oh my god, I love the sounds of it. Yes! Come in handy. Saw me badass time. Why don't you sit in back with Cora? <sighs> I think I will. Yep, I was right about this whole tension thing. It's gonna be, it's gonna it's suck for these guys. This, she's not wrong at all. She has all the right to be mad. I need to send a wire. To whom, Councilman? The General of the United Forces. Who? We need to evacuate immediately. Everyone stay close to me. Oof. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What? Holy no, these guys again from Hiroshi. No. That's a great shot. <laughs> oh my god. Like, the city is just screwed over. Come on, Tencent, come on. Yes. But, it, but it's only him alone, I mean. Last time he was just e easily defeated, just like now. Yep. Oh no. This is terrible. The city is super quiet and it's just taken over. Yes. I don't know why I clapped so much. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Asami, like she's just straight up dominating this. Look at her go. Come on. Yes. I love how she fights. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Tenzin is just like, that's like nothing. <laughs> Cool. I can't stand to see Asami fighting alongside those benders. You chose the wrong side. Capture them before long, and you will have your daughter back. He's lying to you. Uh, guys, look. No, not a Yar Temple. Oh, no. no, 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 no. There's Lin and Pema and whole Tenzin family. No. I hate this guy. I hate him. Oh, no. Okay, now it got serious. Now it got personal. Oh, they're gonna be screwed. Pull it together, Pema. Didn't I just say remain calm? Mommy, what's wrong? Oh. The baby's coming. No. It's a quiet place all over again. <laughs> no, no. How can she have the baby now? <sighs> come on, come on. Yes. Oh. More guys, come on! Yo, Tenzin, Mako, Kora, Bolin, Asami, go quick! Oh, oh, this is just... Oh, that's just straight up like of a Japanese film, you know? Yes, come on! Tough starter, come on! The children, where are they? Don't worry, they're in the other room, totally safe. She says that like she there's not even a fight there. 
No, no, not Lynn. No, Lynn. Stay away from my dad's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yes. Girls, you need to go back inside this instant. Quite easy how these kids are just taking them down. <laughs> no, no way. Never mind. <laughs> that was quite easy. Like the kids took them down. That's that's weird. <laughs> you let them fight? Do you realize what could have happened? <laughs> I would have been toast if it weren't for your kids. You should be proud. Yeah, but it was still very dangerous. It should have been more dangerous, you know. Hello. <laughs> There's their Hello. new Meet your new brother. Your new brother. We already chose a name. Rohan. Rohan, that's a great name. That's from Brother Lord of the Rings. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but more airships are coming. Everything's not gonna be fine. They cannot just take a break. Is there a Mon? You and your family are the last airbenders. There's no way in the world I'm letting Amon take your bending away. Wow. Thank you, Lin. Oh, Lin, please. With the reinforcements, we can turn the tide in this war. Okay. What you're saying is we need to be patient. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> you're learning well. Oh, they're gonna follow them. That's so menacing. Oh, okay. More of these guys. Mustache guy! The mustache guy? I hate him. I just hate him. Yes! It's just so satisfying to watch that. Yeah. My god, I love that shot. Loved it. Oof. They're gaining Oof. on us. Come on. Oh my god, is there gonna be a casualty here? I don't to me no Lynn Lin, what, what are you doing Lynn don't 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 oh my god I love her holy moly she's a badass I love her <laughs> no 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 <laughs> no, she's captured. Brick. That lady is my hero. Yes. Confirm. She is. Cora, we should get moving. Tell me where the Avatar is. And I'll let you keep your bend. Oh my god. Tell you anything. No, oh, please monster. don't take very well. Her bending away. No, 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 no. Oh, I got chills. Ugh. Tell her we will be arriving in three days' time. And that I look forward to winning back Republic City together. Is that the voice of Zuko? General Iroh. General Iroh? These are the United Forces? <gasps> what? That was. This was a sad episode. This was a sad. It had such a. It ended in such a downer, I... And the whole tone is just so grim and, and, and just like hopeless. It feels so tragic. I like that it focused more like on the 
character relationships and what does each character mean to each other. I think that's what I like most about this episode. I mean, one huge talking point is the conflict that's going on between Mako and Asami. Mako should have told her about Korra long time ago. He was basically lying to her. Asami had all the right to be mad. I feel that Mako is just ignoring the relationship and ignoring her ignoring the fights. He's becoming a little bit annoying, but I understand that because that's the character and that's, I think, where the character is going through. It could be a great point to, you know, make him grow as a character. So from a story perspective, I, I understand that he is being a little bit annoying, but I feel for Asami, mostly. I feel for Asami. There was not a lot of Korra herself, and that's not a bad thing. It's just that the story rather focused on this, on these conflicts. The takeover of the city was extremely quiet. It felt like ghostly, like Tenzin walking past a few guys and then it's just only him as part of the council and he is the one that has to take leadership of the city. And the city was just empty, you know, when they were fighting. It felt like Dragon Rises, to be honest. And, and I really like that. I really like that. What I would have liked more though is that the stakes were just a little bit higher when they were taking over the air temple because that scenario of Pema being pregnant and the baby just coming in that specific moment, that is extremely dramatic. I think it was just a little bit too quick and a little bit too easy. I mean, the kids did that like it was nothing, you know? It was kind of weird to be honest, but I really liked the ending. I really liked the ending, although it was sad and it ended on a downer with Lynn. I can't believe, I can't believe it was just like that, like, they just, like, Amon just took her bending away, just like that. Um, I can't believe that, I can't believe that happened. Really looking forward to episode 11, which I've been told is the best one of this season. So I'm really looking forward to that one. And that will be it. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video and you want more content like this, please give it a like and you may want to subscribe as well if you haven't. And we'll see each other in the next one. See ya.